So what we have here is log base 7 of x cubed. Okay? So knowing what we know about powers, this is just the same thing as log base 7 of x times x times x. And using the product rule of, multiple, of logarithms, what we can do is really break this up. So say we have, we compare these two logs together and we have this log separately. So what the product rule is saying is we could rewrite this product as a sum ending with the log base 7 of x plus the log base 7 of x times x. Going through the same process of splitting this one up over here, what we end up with then is log base 7 of x plus log base 7 of x plus yet one more log base 7 of x. What you remember about just combining terms is if we ever have like terms, we can combine them. So we have three of the same things and this will give us 3 log base 7 of x. Okay. This introduces a new property of logs, which is the power rule. Okay. If we ever have a power on whatever's inside the log, what we can do is bring that down in front. Log base b of x. So this n, that exponent, can just come down in front, and we have the same expression. One thing to be very careful of, though, is this is not the same thing as if we have log base b of x to the n. Okay? This only works when that exponent is on the term inside the log. Okay? This one is not equal to n log base b of x. Okay? You can only do it if the exponent is on the thing inside, not if the whole logarithm is to the power. So, power rule of logarithm. If you ever have something in the log that has a power, bring the number down in front.